again, this is the friend of the Gracious Warrior. Today we're coming up with a top five in the Star Wars Black Series figurines. Uh, these are all six inches. Um, these are our picks for, like, I guess what what our, I guess what the most valuable ones are, and um, just the ones we like the best. So, starting on my right hand side, we have the number thirty five issue, the Snowtrooper from Episode Five, The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a pretty short video. Not much to talk about. You know what it is. You know what movie it's from. We just thought it was very cool. Based upon the value it, it holds, if, you, if of course you give it inside the box. But it's cool nonetheless if you take it out and actually play with it if you have kids. But yeah, it's just a cool collectible. So, going on to number four, we have Boba Fett from technically four, five, and six. And I guess episode two. But of course, uh, I think in I guess I, I guess more or less in episode five he makes his first appearance. And then of course you see him in six too. But I think there's a scene in episode four where he's also in there, but he doesn't doesn't say much really. But yeah, so this is the uh, part of the Black Series, the first I think this was the first shipment. So um, unlike this one, this no true was the thirty number thirty five, and I think I believe. The second or the third gen of the Black Series, I'm not quite sure. This was the first gen. This is uh, the number six figurine. Yeah, so that's our fourth pick. Number three for us was Darth Maul because he's Darth Maul. Um, basically, yeah, this is a, of course, as you can see from, th this is a gen one Black Series figurine, as was Boba Fett. What gives it away is, of course, the black box, but also the orange lining that you, that you see. That was the big hint that it came out in 2013. So yeah, um, it comes with two heads, you see the saber, it's crafted well. Um, it's the, the box is a little beat up, but I guess what matters is the fact that the figurine inside is is good to, is, I guess, safe. So this was the, this was the first, sorry, this was the, the second uh, model released in the first generation of Black Series products, as it has a number two on the back of it. But our second pick, was the Sand Trooper from episode 4. Um, it's also a first generation, as you can see, and this was a this was number, th this was the number 3 figurine as opposed to Darth Maul being the number 2 that was released. Um, just thought it was, just thought it was cool after we talked, and we decided this would be it. Um, just, you see the various blasters, and I think we don't know, but I we think that either the orange panel on the side indicates rank, or it indicates that he's on a desert planet. Other than that, we don't know. So, our favorite and our final pick is a, is a Luke Skywalker from Episode Five outfit. Um, this was also a first generation of the shoes in the Black Series, but it's also the first figure. It's the number one, as you can see on the back here. I'll just show you what I'm looking at. It says O1 Luke Skywalker. It, um, essentially, in the first generation, or just the first wave of Black Series products that Hasbro chose to make, um, the first issue is just the figurines or the, the characters that they thought were most important to get, to get out there first. So that's what it. But that's what that means. So um, that includes the, the saber, the helmet, everything you see there, the blaster. But um, one cool thing that the Gracious Warrior had, at least in mine, of course, but um, back in 97, when Lucas had control over his own company, uh, he was re re-releasing 4, 5, and 6 in the theaters, just, you know, for a new generation of fans, as our parents' generations had kids. Sorry, our parents' generation had, had kids, i.e. us. And in 96, to gear up for that, he, along with Hasbro, released a um, pretty cool 12-inch catalog of toys. And I didn't know at the time that my friend had this, but he does, and he, he has the ever so collectible and very valuable 12 inch figure character series edition of the same character in the same movie, Luke here, as I'm sure you've seen on eBay. In the scene, too. Yeah, like this is a very, very, like I go on eBay and I see this for 80, 90, over 100 bucks. Like, but this is in the box and it's not not open. It's like you have the official seal there. That's embossed. You can actually feel it. Kind of, you know, kind of cool. And if you open it up, it's even cooler. It's an actual doll. Like it's an actual action. Well, it's not an, it's an action figure. It's, a, it's an actual 
you know, that has, you know, just fabric, cro uh, cloth, it, <laughs> it has the lightsaber going through his pants there. <laughs> um, yeah, and the helmet itself, it's incredibly, it's incredibly detailed, like this one is. But I guess where the piece, the resistance is, that helmet is bigger. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. It's bigger, it, so you can feel more detail in there. I guess that's, and plus it's old piece from the 1996 line. So not much to say. These are just cool, collectible toys that we like. And um, It has the story inside too. Like if you look there on the cover, oh, on the cover it, it literally does like a description. It describes the scene that each character is in, you know, and in this case it's about Luke who's about to fight Vader. That Later finds out, oh, he's his dad. That's why he doesn't have the gloves. Exactly. So, yeah, it's a uh, pretty cool find that we had today. I didn't know that he had it. I think you forgot. Oh, but yeah, let's put this over here. Those are the other ones. In the series. Um, yeah, I... Once again, not much to say. We just thought these were cool. Um, when I was younger, I used to have a bit more, but I just got rid of those. And yeah, I guess these are just our picks for what we thought was the best Hasbro Black series. First or well, I guess... Almost all first generation figures, mm -hmm. aside from Snow Trooper, who's I think second or third gen, but he's in number 35 in a long line of toys that they released. So, anyway, those are our picks. This has been the Vicious Warriors channel. Bye for now.